This is my Chris Lloyd board I just got in the mail. Uh, it's an anchor orange. I'm really excited. This is my first serious backgammon board. Here it is. Wow, this feels very different than I thought it was going to. I thought it was gonna be more of a linen kind of fabric feel, but it also kind of has like a oiled canvas kind of feel to it. Wow. Wow, that's huge. That's crazy. Nice. Cool, so the standard set comes with black dice and white dice and I asked if they could give me a white and orange dice. Very nice, awesome. And uh, the standard set comes with black dice cups, but uh, I asked for the chestnut or brown dice cups, so. That's cool, very nice. Okay, cool, what else here? There's doubling cube, Chris Lloyd, 64, very nice, put that in the center. So I asked instead of the white marble checkers if I could have white marbling with orange in them instead of just white with the regular marbling as they do. So I'm excited to see what, uh, what they have essentially here. Oh, nice, that's cool. What? That's wicked. This is so cool. This is phenomenal. Oh, man, okay, all right, I'm gonna set, a, set the game up here. There's uh, another video out there, Justin McKenna, he did a, a YouTube video and uh, talked about how it's kind of like like air hockey almost, like that totally, I didn't, I got the idea when he said it, but like that, that makes total sense. Of course, I didn't set the board up, right? There we go. I can't even describe this, this is so, so cool. And this cork, you know, a lot of people say I was reading what board to get. There's all different kinds out there, obviously. Chris Lloyd seems to be the best value uh, for the money. And I can tell you right now, this is an awesome board and I'm looking forward to playing with this board for many, many years to come and, and even handing it down, ideally. Uh, you see uh, a lot of boards from like the 70s and 80s online and how they have a little bit of wear and tear to them. And I, I love that. Cork, I feel like is something that'll age really well. You know, a lot of people I saw online that maybe Maybe cork shouldn't be your first board, or um, cork's kind of one of those things where you either love it or hate it. It's it's different from the kind of felt style that I've played on the cheaper boards. I, I guess I don't know how to describe it. It's I'm talking to my wife right now. I, do you like the sound of it? It's it's a little brighter sounding than what I'm used to, but I don't mind that in the slightest. And yeah, I've heard the uh, the board can get a little grippy after a while, but not, you know, it doesn't stay as slippery as this. Uh, I wasn't sure how the uh, cups were gonna be. So it's like a little leather cup with like a little plastic insert. The insert is kind of, kind of reminds me almost of like the inside of a, an actual can. They have a really nice sound to them. Just, Roll that all day. 11 checkers fit on the top there. As far as on the bottom here. Nice, perfect fit. There's not, not much give there, which is awesome. So let's go ahead in and play a few, few here. All right, five, one to orange. Let's go five. And one. Just started playing backgammon, what, six months ago, this uh, past June. And uh, yeah, I can't stop playing. And now I have a, a Chris Lloyd board, so plenty of playing to be done. Four, two to white. Lovely. Six, one, two. Orange. Oh, my bad. I don't play both sides very often, so confusing. <laughs> All right, to white. Five, one to white. Well, I could hit. Where to next? 
Anywho, I love the sound of these cups already. Like, I'm excited to see how this set ages. So they should pack into fives here. If we pack them into the board. Packs in nicely. I am so excited to play this with friends and family. I've heard on YouTube and, and uh, Reddit and all of that that having bigger checkers and the bigger board is just something cool as far as like just you can see more with the board and it's just a whole new feeling so to speak and I can totally, totally understand that. Oh man, so cool. Let's throw those there, that there, and then Closes up nicely. The handle feels like a, a nice firm handle there. Nice uh, metal latches. Really nice. Nice hinges on the back here. Man, phenomenal. I keep saying this, I'm like so excited. Thank you so much for all the people at Chris Lloyd who helped make this board and uh, yeah, happy holidays. I'm looking forward to playing for many years to come with this.